Hi, my name is Connor Castle. I'm with the West Virginia University Mountaineer Robotics team. We would like to introduce our robot Thor to the University Rover Challenge. The Mountaineer Drivetrain sub-team's objective was to provide a stable platform to carry all task-related payloads during the URC competition. Prevention of deflection and vibration while maintaining traction and mobility were the main challenges while addressing the objective. The drivetrain was designed with a streamlined system containing a differential bogey, a reinforced chassis, and an integral wheel hub design. The wheel hubs featured 3D printed components to reduce weight while allowing for transference of torque. The wheels themselves are polyurethane with treads designed to enhance traction. The Mountaineer Manipulator subteam has been focused on developing an effective manipulator capable of achieving all objectives set in both the extreme retrieval and equipment servicing missions. To complete such tasks, the design requirements such as structural rigidity, load capabilities, and manipulative dexterity were accounted for to develop a competitive, mission-ready manipulator. Utilizing six degrees of freedom and inverse kinematics, the Mountaineer Manipulator has the ability to complete tasks in an accurate fashion, meanwhile enabling the user to have ample control over the manipulator's position. This includes utilizing three, three linear servos and four dynamixel servos for an end effector that has a flexible positioning capabilities. In addition, a custom base plate and track design was designed to improve structural rigidity. The Mountaineer Electronics subteam provides the necessary infrastructure for programming and communications of the rover system. Since commercial electronic devices require different voltage levels and current limits, the system requires a power distribution architecture capable of converting the battery voltage to the necessary voltages of those devices. The communication subteam works on transmission of data from the base station to the rover. The system is a 2.4 GHz line that is powered by Ubiquiti M2 rockets. On the base station side, we use a 90 degree sector antenna. On the rover, we have an omnidirectional antenna. We have done reliability testing on the system and we have found that the system works up to 1.5 miles and has a maximum throughput of 87 megabits per second. For the autonomous traversal task, the Mountaineer Programming Subteam has developed capabilities to navigate GPS waypoints, search for tennis balls, and avoid obstacles and untraversable terrain. To facilitate waypoint navigation, a GPS-based path planner will generate a waypoint at the given tennis ball coordinate. Along the way to the waypoint, if any obstacles are detected in the path of the rover, the rover will enter the hazard avoidance state. Tennis ball detection is performed using a TensorFlow approach, as well as a basic object detection algorithm. The OpenCV based object recognition algorithm can quickly detect the tennis ball based on shape and color under ideal conditions. The strength of the TensorFlow approach is the ability to train the neural net to detect the tennis ball under a wide variety of conditions. The Mountaineer Science subteam led efforts to determine the most effective method of identifying potential cache locations while abiding by the no spill policy. A tiller agitates the ground to collect subsurface soil and bring onboard sensors into contact with the sample. Brief vectors of electrical conductivity, moisture content, pH levels, and temperature are recorded for each soil sample. Some sites may be sampled several times to further support the signs of life in the area. 